Tsurumbu has started serving Igbo's bread soaked in water, according to Modu. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The former national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP Dr. Okwe Siliezi Modu, was set, state, has stated that Nigerian's president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tsurumbu, has started serving the Igbos, a piece of bread soaked in water. Nigeria recalls that in January, when Tinubu was at a Michael Opera Square for a presidential campaign rally, he had pleaded with the South Senate to work for his victory and that of the party. According to Tinubu, he said, and I quote, Nobody will give you any credit. You are working hard now. You are sweating. We want you to sweat well now for this party until you deliver victory. Until Bola Tinubu becomes the president of Nigeria, we will not give you but is soaked sliced bread. Speaking on Monday in an interview with Vanguard, Mordo noted that Tinubu was already serving the Igbo the promised soaked bread. He said that this while reacting to the absence of Igbos in Tinubu's 14-man inauguration committee. Mordo argued that any president of Nigeria not making visible effort to unite, unite the ethnic groups in Nigeria will feel woefully. The former governor of Enugu State also lamented over the attacks on Igbos in Lagos State, who he said were being allegedly punished for voting their conscience during the general elections. Speaking on Buhari's apology to Nigerians, the People's Democratic Party chieftain insisted that it was coming late and not enough to heal the trauma he had caused Nigeria. Wado, who gave an abysmal scorecard of 30% to all the All Progressive Congress APC led federal government, said, Insecurity. Ethnic bigotry and hunger festered across Nigeria during its reign. Now, I see many people they calm down. It is inauguration committee of Korea alone. Eh? He has not said they're giving appointments. See, if Sunubu comes out today and he continues what he is doing, please, I just want to make one of the warm up. I'm not saying. That uh, this is how it should it will be. Oh, I know this is what I, this is the same thing I said when Tinubu came out and he picked a Muslim as a placeholder for picking the vice president. I also came out and said, "I'm gonna leave this man alone." Uh -huh. This is what me I'm going to say now. I am going to say, "Make one still leave him alone." This is inauguration committee, so even like make him put make him put one try, make him try full everywhere. But I want to assure you people that I'm not going to support. When he does the same thing for allocation of appointment and positions, make Onadi calm down. Make Onadi, I don't want to believe that Tunubu is not going to pick them. Why? Because he needs to. Anybody, just like this man said, anybody who is coming in and you are not, you, the unity of this country is not your priority. <laughs> My brother, you don't feel. From the beginning, your government, your, your administration is going to be a failure. But that is how it is going to be. It's just like you are going into war, and the people you are going into war with, you need to quarrel with them. Brother, that means, say, <laughs> for the battlefield, <laughs> you, even if they see your enemy, they see person with a plunge sword for your back, they're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you, look out. They're not going to help you kill the person. They're going to allow and plunge the sword. And that is what is going on. Whether we like it or not, Nigeria, we did war. We did war against we did war against bad leadership. We did war against economic hardship. We did war against, you know, in many, many sectors. And we will not be able to win if we do not stand together. I just say, make a reminder now. Okay. You better thank your star that it is bread soaked in battery water. Okay, you better thank your star it is not bread soaked in battery water or tapia pia. <laughs> God will help on our. God will help on our. The question we should ask is, where are the Igbo he would appoint even as ministers? Most Igbos fail to support him. Won't he be a fool appointing people who may turn out to be killed joys like Amy Philly? Let me tell you people, no. I will say it again. Tunumbu, no, not Tunumbu. President Buhari is the president of Nigeria. He is not the president of a north. He is not the president of a northeast, northwest or north central. He is the president of Nigeria. Tunubu will come in. He will not be the president of the Southeast. There's something I want people to know. If you are coming in as a president, as a leader, you are not coming in with, 
these people then they misbehave you are coming in a new person just like if a father you will not come and be saying because this is your picking they do and you don't go buy and so you don't go pay in school fees ah uh -uh. are you okay anybody here go say are you sure you are fine you will pay you are you bring a coin you will pay that is just it he needs to carry everybody along to have an effective government <laughs> i don't they talk i'm now <laughs> Anybody, just like this man said that, you, do, you don't put the unit of this country. You don't prioritize it. You don't want to allo allocate positions with equity in mind. You don't want to allocate resources and funds with equity in mind. Believe you me, you are digging your own grave. You are failing yourself already. You are planning to fail. This one, no joke, so that is just it. Why? Because those people, the way you know they carry along, not their problem where they come from. But if you carry everybody along... These people will feel okay, even if nobody our candidates win. But this man don't try you. This man, see what see what he give this person. See what he give this person. See as he appoint this person. Before you know it, they say love conquers everything. Before you know it, you don't carry that fatherly love spread for the whole geopolitical zone. They have no option that they return it back to you. This is just a matter of give and you be giving. You are going to come in, Tinubu being the president. The president means you are father of all nations. That is why, if, uh, what's the code? That is why, if, just like Buhari now, if the Ministry of Defense feel, we know they call defense people, not Buhari, now we they call. If the Ministry of Finance feel, nobody be there with the call, now Buhari. Why? Because now him we know. Just, I am just saying it though. If he likes, after doing this thing now, he comes to the location, make his still That's what I'm telling people. Prep your mind. Prepare your mind. Plan for the best, but expect the worst. Put, leave a little space. Say, if this man no can appoint, you know, people. Even people, they even not be around them. So, most supposed to carry this and put for mind. What if this man no appoints me? Will I still be fine? Let me make sure I'm fine, even though he does not appoint me. Make you need make that small preparation, even if not just 5%. <laughs> because... If you don't make a matter like that, will hook you. All right. But a liberal man that lives in Lagos. Okay. Igbo is a tribe who has tried to impose themselves on Nigeria. Since it could not succeed, it tried to isolate itself from Nigeria. At the same time, crime being marginalized. There can never be a greedy tribe like such tribe in Nigeria, blaming other tribes for their woes. Igbo is the only tribe who is not a friend to other tribes. That is how we talk now, super story. Super story. If somebody from that tribe has offended you before, speak to that person directly. I've said it. Don't stereotype. Don't come and commit what they call stereotyping or bring in prejudice. <laughs> Don't generalize. Because if you too, you're a member of a tribe. If somebody comes and speaks in that manner about a tribe, eh, they like you. Eh? What is good for the goose is also good for the gander. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.